This is Jacob Brewer from Adobe Analytics Product Management. I want to introduce you to an exciting new feature that is going to save you a ton of time analyzing your various customer segments. It's called Segment Comparison. Let's jump into a demo right here of how it works. I'm here in Analysis Workspace within Adobe Analytics. I simply click and drag this Segment Comparison panel here onto the canvas. Once I've done that, it prompts me for two segments that I want to compare side by side. Let's navigate here to our segments. Let's say I want to compare the people that are buying my products to the people that aren't. I want to identify the key distinguishing factors. What are the drivers? Once I've added this purchaser segment here, we automatically add the everyone else segment just for your convenience. So if I hit run comparison, this would do a comprehensive analysis of the key distinguishing factors between these two segments. And that, that might be very interesting. But for this demo, let's, let's do a different segment. Let's compare our purchasers to the people who are visiting my website often but that may or may not actually be buying. Then I hit run comparison. Here's the progress bar. And behind the scenes, Adobe is running a highly optimized data science process. And it is literally comparing every single metric, dimension, and segment right now. Once it's done, we have a visualization. Here are our purchasers. Here are our frequent visitors. Here we have some summary stats. But the most valuable part is this right here. Here are our top most statistically significant metrics that distinguish our purchasers from our frequent visitors. It looks like the top one most significant metric is mobile usage. It looks like our purchasers here are using mobile devices a lot more than our frequent visitors to visit our website. That's why it has a high difference score of 1. The difference score is from 0 to 1. 1 is the highest and that means it's very significant. 0 means it's less significant. Let's say I already knew that the purchasers are using mobile devices a lot so I simply click X right here and I remove that and it'll update with the next top 5. I can browse through these to look at my, my, my other significant metrics and you'll see that the different score goes down as we go through these. Clicking on this will update these visualizations here to the right over the most recent period so that you can get a quick view of what's going on. This can also be easily customized. Here we have our top most significant dimensions. These can also be nicely visualized here at a glance. And here we have our top most statistically significant segments. And this can be very interesting to see the patterns here, the overlaps between the segments. And this will help you find those key correlations and patterns within your customer base. If you have a rich data set, you are likely gathering hundreds or maybe even thousands of different data points. And when you want to do a segment analysis, knowing which of those thousands of data points you should be comparing is not always obvious. Going through all of those data points manually could easily take you days or even weeks. Using segment comparison, we did a pretty comprehensive analysis within just a few minutes. We already know what the key data points are that we need to consider. And we are well on our way to getting those key insights and actionable strategies. Since you can do this on any segment you want, you can do this with all of your segments and create highly targeted marketing strategies tailored to the unique behavior of each individual segment. Stay tuned for the next video. We're going to show how segment comparison can be further customized and optimized.